Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. My name's Jeff Ferris. Today, we're gonna take a closer look at Woodpecker's Joiner's Combination Squares. And I'm gonna show you how to lay out dovetails without ever touching a ruler. Okay, let's get started. Woodpecker's Joiner's Combination Squares came about at a product meeting one afternoon when someone asked, why do combination squares always combine 90 and 45? Why not 90 and some other angle? So we decided to make a set of combination squares that combines 90 degrees with the common dovetail angles. You have dovetail ratios of one to six, one to seven, and one to eight available. Now, the blades are available in three sizes, eight inch, six inch, and four inch. Any head fits with any blade. You can put together just exactly what you want. And all of the blades feature our scribing guides. The head locks in at any full inch, and then you get perfect parallel scribing with these guides. So that makes it ideal for mortise and tenon layout as well as dovetailing. Now another feature I wanna point out is the sliding tab here. Uh, I'm gonna move this over to the other side. And now when I go to make a square line, you can see that that tab is helping hold the square in position. And we made it so that it can go to the other side and do the same thing for our dovetail angle. Now let's look at laying out a set of dovetails and marking them using the one to six joiner's combination square. Now when it comes to putting two pieces of wood together at a right angle, nothing says craftsmanship like the dovetail joint. This particular set here was cut with a multi-router. Um, I've also used all types of router equipment, router jigs uh, to cut dovetails, uh, and that's what I reach for most of the time because I'm a power tool guy. But I'm trying to learn how to do things with hand tool methods. And I'll show you some of the differences that you'll see between a hand cut and a machine cut dovetail. And our joiners combination squares are all built around being able to do the layout part of the dovetails very easily. Now that's the part that I've kind of mastered. The actual cutting of the joint, I'm still working on that. Not ready for prime time on that yet, but we'll get there. But the technique I'm gonna show you is one that I learned from Rob Cosman, who learned it from Alan Peters. And this is a technique where we're gonna use dividers to lay out the spacing of the dovetails. We're not gonna to have to measure anything. The first step is to take the thickness of the joining piece and mark it on the piece that's gonna have the tails in it. Now I'm gonna go over to the table saw to do that. Okay, the goal here is to get the thickness of this stock marked on the end of this stock. Now what I've done for years, and I do mean years on this, is to fiddle around like this, trying to get that board balanced on edge right at the edge of the stock, and then try and hold that in position while I mark it. I came up with an idea, uh, one of those head slapping moments where why didn't I think about this a long time ago? If I use my table saw fence, which I know is square, put the stock on there like that, take this piece, put it up against there like that, now everything is nice and tight, and I can hold that up against there, and I can take my pencil, and I can get an accurate mark just that easy. So the next thing we wanna do is mark the baseline for our dovetails. Uh, and we wanna mark that with a knife rather than with a pencil. Because when we start using our chisels to cut out the material between the dovetails, we wanna have something that our chisel will actually register in. So I'm gonna cut this with a marking knife. So the pencil mark that I got off of the previous cut, I wanna go just barely to the outside of that. I want my tails to be just a little bit too long so that my material comes through just a tiny little bit. We're gonna set that right on the line. I'm gonna take my marking knife and score my baseline. 
and I'm going to do that twice. Okay, let's talk about a couple of definitions. This is a tail and this is a pin. The tail actually looks like a swallow's tail and, or a dove's tail uh, and the pin is fitting in between. And if that is a full tail, this is a half tail. Uh, and on these machine cut dovetails, what we end up with is we're starting with a half tail. Traditionally, in a hand cut dovetail, you start with a half pin. And so that's what we're going to look at first is the half pin. Now when I say a half pin, it's not half the size, we're talking about the shape. The shape is half of the shape of this. And we actually want that to be a little bit more than the, the width of a normal pin. So the first thing we want to do in our layout is take a pair of dividers and we want to put them on our stock and we want to estimate how wide we want that half pin to be. Now, if it's too skinny, then it'll get very, very fragile and it's likely to break when we put our joint together. If you make it really, really fat, it just looks stupid. We don't want that either. So, you know, it's kind of a judgment call. Uh, I, on this layout, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so that's what I want for my half pins. So I'm gonna take my dividers, I'm gonna leave them right where I set them. I'm gonna put that on the edge. I'm gonna poke it right there, just to the inside, and I'm gonna do that on both sides. Okay, now that's a little bit hard to see. So I'm gonna take my square, I'm gonna put my pencil point in the hole, bring my square up to it, and then make a mark. I'm gonna do that on both sides. So that is our half pin on each side. Now we need to lay out the tails. Now, on a piece this wide, um, you kinda, after you lay these out a few times, you get a feeling for how many pins and tails you want. I think this one's gonna work out best uh, with four uh, tails. So we're just gonna kinda eyeball this and I'm gonna start my compass on my pencil mark that I just made. I'm not gonna poke this in yet. I just wanna set it down, spin it around, and do that until I get to this point where I come out like this. Now, at this spacing, my pen width is going to be from here to here. Now that's too fat. Um, the, the thing that distinguishes hand cut dovetails from machine cut dovetails is having a nice narrow pin. Okay, so I don't want it that fat. That means I want to take my dividers and make them a little closer together. One there, one there, one there, and now my pin width is from there to there. Nice and skinny, something you can't do with a machine. You can only get that pin width with hand cut dovetails. So that looks pretty good. So if that's our spacing, we're gonna go from there. Now this time, I'm gonna go ahead and poke it in. I'm gonna spin around and poke that one in. Spin around, and poke that one in. Now, here's the magic. Here's how we get that spacing to be the way we've, we laid it out. I'm gonna come and put my pointer on the line on this side, and now we'll set that one and that one, and that one. Okay, so now we have the width 
of our pins all laid out. And we're just gonna go ahead and mark those across the board the same way. We're gonna put the pencil in the hole, bring the square up to it, mark. Pencil in the hole, mark. Okay. Now, all we have to do is come on to this face and lay out our angled cuts. So to start this, what I wanna do is come to the two lines on the end, and I wanna transfer those around the corner just so I can see where they are. Now, I wanna set my square on there and bring the square to my point and mark from the top down to my cut line. Now I can bring it up so that I can see the line over here and mark this one. Now everything else is gonna go the other direction. So we're gonna turn our square around and we'll get on that first one. And just to make this real simple, we're gonna mark the parts that are gonna get cut away. That gets cut away. That gets cut away, that gets cut away, and that'll leave us with four tails. So we got our dovetails all laid out without ever touching any type of measuring tool. So maybe someday I'll feel confident enough to go the rest of the way with this joint and actually grab a saw and cut it out for you. Uh, but that's not today. But I can tell you that the key to hand cut dovetails practice, practice, practice. And you can't start cutting until you get the layout right. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our deep dive today. I hope you enjoyed this talk about our joiners combination squares and dovetail layouts without any measurements. If you enjoyed the show today, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you'll know about every one of our great videos right when they come out. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Woodpecker's Deep Dive.